What was the experience like as you took the mound under these unprecedented circumstances? Yeah, we got here and, uh, you know, we're five weeks behind schedule. And then we were welcomed with a nice 72-minute uh, rain delay. And so we were just, like, thinking, like, of all delays, like, come on, guys, let's just let's get the tarp on. Let's get this thing going. So, uh, luckily, once it started, everything went smoothly. And uh, it, was, it was very different with uh, having a completely empty stadium, but just happy to get the first one underneath our belt. Yes, was that the most? What was the most significant difference today compared to any other game you've pitched in your life? They, uh, they, they were playing music during the game. Like, if you're, like, at an NBA game, like, just, like, playing music, that was a big difference. Uh, took a little bit getting used to. Uh, they did have some cardboard cutouts around, and then they had, like, a whole bunch of fans, like, on Zoom on this big video board um, kind of chiming in and, and dancing at home along with the cheerleaders. And, uh, yeah, just some of the fake uh, some of the fake fans they had in the outfield. It was just – it was a little different, but, um, you know, just, again, just can't say enough, like, how blessed we are just to be able to play some games. How did it affect the game? I ask in part because I think a lot of fans here, as we wait for Major League Baseball to come back, are wondering, will it be similar? And if so, how will it affect the game? How would you say it affected the game, having the music playing and not having the fans in the ballpark? It was just weird. You know, like, you, as an athlete, you really ride the, uh, the emotions of the stadium sometimes when the fans get really hyped up for big, important moments. Um, you know, excited for, for home runs or big strikeouts. And just none of that was there. You know, there was a – you could really hear the dugouts, which is awkward because, you know, you, you usually don't get a chance to hear the other side talking too much. Um, but just kind of in terms of, like, overall impact, um, I, I, would, I would say today I didn't really notice it too much. It's because I was pretty focused on what I was trying to do. But I think uh, in the next few days I'll really notice how empty the place is. I hear athletes say all the time in build-ups to really big games – uh, in their careers, that, that the key is to get out there, and once they start actually going about it, in your case, pitching, then it just becomes like another game. This was, in its own way, a really big game, different from anything we've ever seen. Once you got started, was it just like any other game to you? It was. It was. After we got going, um, you could tell, like, you know, our, our team was just excited to be out there playing a game that mattered. Uh, some of the veterans are, you know, excited to play a full game and not just play five innings and go home. And you can just see that, like, the, the energy in our, in our clubhouse was just different today than it has been the last three months that we've been together as a team. We showed some pictures earlier today. Um, the honorary first pitch, if you will, was thrown out by a kid, like, in a plastic bubble and some different things like that. How are you and your teammates able to celebrate safely and things like that with high fives are supposed to be discouraged and all that? How, how has that interaction been different in the age of social distancing? Uh, guys have been wearing a lot more batting gloves at times when you usually don't wear batting gloves. This guy's sitting on the bench wearing batting gloves. Um, we were basically told, like, if you're not wearing batting gloves, like, don't high-five, like, you know, bump elbows or touch feet or just say good job kind of thing. But it's when you're excited in the moment, like, that's not what you're thinking about. And, like, you just want to go high-five your teammates because you're working together towards the goal and someone just did something really positive for your team. And you just want, you know, you're excited about it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.